Welcome to 20346 Agate Ridge. We are in the Ruby Crossing subdivision in San Antonio. I want to give you a shot of what the street looks like, a little bit about the neighborhood, so that you can get a feel for these beautiful homes that are brand spanking new. This one here is a four bedroom, two bath home two-car garage, nice little yard, covered front porch, we've got a fenced-in backyard. I'm going to take you inside and show you this awesome floor plan. So we enter directly into the living area. You can see to the right we have the kitchen and dining area. This is an L-shaped shared space. We have beautiful white paint, gray laminate, vinyl floors. We're gonna get to the kitchen in just a moment. We're gonna take a peek here at our two-car garage, which is finished. Water heater here. We have a tankless water heater. I'm in the far, far corner of the dining room now, so you can see how spacious this home is. Beautiful canned lighting throughout. We have a door to the side yard. To the right is the front of the home. You can see here we are in the migration season for our monarch butterflies. They pass right through South San Antonio, so you can see them fluttering around. But this is the side view heading toward the front of the home. You can see a sizable air conditioning unit, brand new of course. We have our meter down there. You can see the water spigot toward the front by the garage. There will be grass planted here, of course, as you can see next door, beautiful green grass. And then of course we have our gate to the backyard. I have seen lots and lots of clients buy these homes and they move that fence, running it along the side yard here to right about here in between the garage, the personnel door, sorry, not the garage, but the personnel door and the air conditioning unit and some people even run it in front of the air conditioning unit so that all of this space here is private but again that would be something you could entertain after closing we have beautiful lighting on the exterior of the home we have hardy plank siding beautiful and white trim all the way around with a light gray exterior we're gonna head back inside. Again, I'm walking into the dining room. That's the door to the garage. You can see the front door that I left open. And now we're gonna talk a little bit about this awesome kitchen. So we have granite countertop here, white cabinetry throughout, stainless steel appliances. We have a large stainless steel sink with a garbage disposal, chrome fixture, ample counter space, gas stove, which is awesome. After you close, you're welcome to put a microwave oven in here above the stove. We have the extra tall 48 inch cabinets that gives you three shelves instead of only two. complete with all of the hardware that you see here, which is a brushed nickel. Get a shot of our GE appliance here. This will be the space for your refrigerator and you'll provide that. Next to it, we have our pantry. So many shelves all the way up to store all of your food. Lots of cabinetry here. Let me get 
step back a little so you can see all of the cabinetry. And of course, our stainless steel dishwasher. Brand spanking new, the way we like it. So let me get a shot of this kitchen one more time for you. Gorgeous. I would say the granite is kind of a mixture of maybe taupe and gray, maybe a little navy blue, and of course white. So we'll go with all kinds of decor. And then we'll turn around here so you can see the expansive living area. We have a nice window there on the side. Huge living area. And that completes the public part of the home. Nice and spacious, very, very open concept. Fantastic for entertainment or just having your own cozy home. And I use the term cozy loosely. Normally cozy means small. This is so huge. <laughs> it's just nice that it would feel like home. That's what I mean by cozy. As we look down the hallway here, you'll see just like on the pantry, we do have paneled doors throughout the home. We have brushed nickel door handles. We continue with the can lights throughout the home. On the right here is our laundry room. So washer and dryer connection. I love that they put in a bar for hanging clothes as you pull them right out of the dryer. No ironing for some of us. And of course we have a vent so that you can get the heat out of this little closet here. Fantastic plan with the panel French doors here. Step back so you can see that. Beautiful. You'll notice our ceilings are tall. These are nine foot ceilings. We do have zero carpet. Same flooring runs throughout the home. As you can see here, we have two bedrooms on the left hand side. We have another guest room here on the right. We'll look at those in just a moment, but there's a little alcove right next to the laundry room. And that alcove is gonna lead us into the guest bathroom that is shared among those three bedrooms. Again, the same granite countertop that we have in the kitchen, a beautiful ceramic bowl sink here with our chrome matching fixtures, a gigantic mirror opens up a small space, and of course, white vanity, white toilet, white, beautiful tub, nice and deep. And look at this surround with all those shelves for all of your personal items. If you're tall like I am, that shower head is up nice and high, so no banging your head. And if you're petite, you're so blessed you never have to worry about it. <laughs> Again, chrome fixtures. We have the fan there. And another panel door. As we leave this alcove, straight across the hall is the first of our two guest bedrooms on the left-hand side of the home. This is a cozy room that would make a nice home office. Could be a child's room, be a nice setup for guests. Here's our closet. Again, it looks small, but then you turn to the right and it goes back behind the bedroom door for extra storage. As we head back across the hall, which is next to the bathroom, we have another guest bedroom. Very nice size, as you can see here. Window looking out on the side of the home, right at that gate to the fenced in backyard. Again, you could move that if you don't like it here. And our closet. Again, looks like it would be just your simple basic closet, but we can go here both to the right and to the left of the door. So this closet is larger than the bedroom. 
we just left. You'll notice each of the bedroom doors is vented. That makes sure that we have great circulation throughout the home and no single room is any warmer or cooler than any other. So we enter our third guest bedroom. This is the second one on the left. Again, the can lights continue throughout, beautiful flooring. And we have a nice closet here that like the one we just left. You go in, turn to the left, turn to the right. It's larger than the door would indicate. Finally, in the back of the home, we have the entrance to our master suite. Large space. I love this little hallway entrance here. This is a huge room. We'll walk over here so you get a full shot of how big the bedroom is. We have one single window. Straight ahead from me here is the master bath and closet, which we'll look at. I like that the closet's in the bathroom because then we're not taking wall space or floor space here in the master bedroom. This is all for you. And then that's looking back down the hallway toward the front of the home. We are entering the master bathroom. We do have a single vanity but lots of storage as you can see with drawers as well as doors underneath the sink. We have a nice big mirror. Same finishes that we have in the guest bathroom. Really nice bathroom. But to the right here, we have a very large walk-in closet in the master bathroom. So much storage, so much hanging space for all your clothes. Oh my goodness, this closet is huge. You could literally put a piece of furniture in here. It's that big. Again, our tub shower combination, matching fixtures, a really beautiful master suite. Very private since it's in the very back of the home. And I'm walking through the hallway to show you here. In the center of the hallway is the pull down staircase. So you have your attic access. And now I'm gonna take you and show you the little backyard we have here. Again, I'm walking out through that dining space as you can see here. We're gonna walk along the side of the home, back to the gate inside the yard. 